Welcome. I'm here at the side of my Bosch dishwasher, and when we opened it the other day, the door kind of fell down. So I pulled it out here, and the spring was broken. Here's the old spring, and here's the pull piece. And this is the model of this Bosch dishwasher, but fixing this will be the same as a lot of Bosch dishwashers. So I bought a replacement spring. It came in this box, and it has two of these. It also has some instructions. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So if you're looking to repair a dishwasher, you'll want to check the Amazon description to make sure you have the right model number for this replacement part. Now this does have a little red stripe on it. And if we look on the back of the instructions, it says red and it lists the number here. And we can see it ends with 866. And this has 866 here. So I know I have the right spring. I read through the instructions. I'm going to do things slightly different, but mostly similar. It does talk about installing the new spring here. And then it talks about clipping this cord on, but I will attach the cord first. Now this is not a Bosch factory part and this dishwasher is well out of warranty. So I don't need to use a factory part, but it has a little bit of a different design here. So it clipped onto the plastic. This one has metal on it. This actually looks sturdier. And then there's this plastic piece here on the new one. It has a smaller piece of plastic. Now this needs to be attached in here. So I'll put this in here. Let me see if I can zoom in. So I'm going to take this, I'll put it in here and you can see how that fits. And then I'll just lift it up and it will be in position. Let me show you upside down. So if it's upside down, see how that doesn't get straight. So you want to make sure you have it. You can see how it's stepped. Stick it in like this, pull it, and you'll get that straight pull. So now this is going to go into the dishwasher. There's a little slot back here. It says to put this in here and then tap it in with a hammer. So I'll do that. Okay, that seemed to bottom out. Here's a little bit of a close up. You can see that's mostly flush with the edge. It's sticking out just the slightest bit, but it did bottom out in there. And you can see why I connected this up first. Otherwise I'd have to like pull it out and get it in there. You can do it either way, but. So now this is going to snake through here, over here, and onto this hook, which I need to reposition my camera for. So I do need to close the door. So that's gonna come through here. And now you see it does not reach. So I'll need to pull on this. So I'm going to use a pair of pliers. Now these pliers have a cutter, so I'll need to be careful not to have that on there. So I'm going to stick it on here and I'll pull up on it and I'm gonna to have to pull that spring. So I'm gonna to have to pull pretty hard. I'm actually going to grab it just below the plastic. So this will move a little bit. Oops. I'll pull this up. I'm going to try and hook it on there. I'm going to have to grab it by the end. Okay, so you're going to have to be pretty strong or have another person help you. So I'm holding this up with my right hand. I'll slide this over there, hopefully. Now let go. There we go. It's probably a little easier to do if you don't have a camera in front of you. So this is stretched just slightly. So now I should be able to open the door here. There we go. And you can see how stretched that is. So there's actually quite a bit of tension on there. But now the door will stay. You can kind of see the bottom. It's kind of cruddy, but you can see the door will stay open at different positions now. Get up to about there, it will close. So this box did come with two springs. I only had the one on the right side break, so I'm only going to replace the one on the right side. I don't feel any need to take the left side off unless it breaks someday. But I'm definitely going to keep this around, just in case. So that's replacing a door spring on a Bosch dishwasher. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.